So what you got here? So what I'm working on is a modern or futuristic photo booth. The idea is to, rather than printing off a sheet of photographs and having a little closed-in box, you're doing an open concept. So you're bringing in other people to come in and, and look at the project with you. So you're getting people to interact and give you ideas on what you're supposed to do and pose. What I've got is I've got one pillar that houses three separate connects, so you can get a full body scan. Mm -hmm. And that'll spin around person in the middle, so you get the full 3D scan. And then through, process, uh, through a process I use with software, and then I can make it available to print on the 3D printer. So rather than getting a photo strip, you're getting a full 3D print to come out. So I can, so I can get back. How do you call oh, it? It just changes my entire dynamic with my wife. <laughs> Oh, didn't everybody go into the photo booth and get your picture with your boyfriend or girlfriend? Nope. Now no. you have yeah. your neighbors and <laughs> So what, what's it printing right now? Um, I'm just doing a, a test print. It's something that won't take very long. It's a whistle. Oh, oh okay. So okay. did you build your maker, maker bot? I did, did not. Buy it pre-assembled. I uh, I borrowed was, it. Well, I had I had a company who was donating a printer to me until Monday, and then they stopped returning my phone calls. And in my emails, it just Aww. didn't contact So where did this one come from? I was able to get a hold of somebody on eBay and was able to talk to him on Wednesday. And yesterday, drove to Ohio, way over on the east side of Ohio near Dublin, and got that yesterday at 3 o'clock. So I've had that print for like less dedication. than Dedication. Wow, super. But it's an older one, and I don't, See, I'm don't. i still working right with the now. software. Yeah. So. Had, had you used a, a MakerBot one before or a anything else? I didn't use it a little bit. Um, yeah. Not a lot. This one, this one's got some bugs. Mm -hmm. um, it, it doesn't want to print very well. <laughs> Every time I try to, the first time I try to print, it jammed the nozzle down into the heat bed. Oh. And so, and it was, since I'm renting it from somebody, I got to replace this heat bed now. So, but that's okay. I don't mind. It, 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 there's proof of concept here. So. And the newer ones. This is an old um, mm -hmm. thingomatic. The new ones, like the replicator or the Ultimaker, things mm -hmm. like that. I mean, th this only prints at, what, 30 or 40 millimeters uh, an hour or so. Those all print at, you know, 300, 400 millimeters. So how, how long did your project take? From start to, like, I want to do this to oh, today. Oh, I, I, uh, I used an independent <clears throat> study last semester uh, to learn the software. I didn't really know any C++ or C Sharp. Uh, got to about February this year and found a company who basically did the exact same project. My original design had three separate connects. And they were taking uh, they were taking three different images from different angles. I, I ran into some issues where the infrared lights were interfering with mm -hmm. one another, and it was really messing up the scan. Mm -hmm. did, did, are those in there now? The connects? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this was this isn't like mock up. That no, actually no, does. Oh, yeah, you can scan <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't you know can, that. I thought, oh, this is a concept of three no. different connects will sit in there. So they really exist in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so. And um, I mean, if you want, we can do the kids here. Yeah, wait, who do you want to see? Who, who wants to be scanned? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So well, wait, wait till you tell us. So then at that point, um, I had to come up with a new design. Mm -hmm. And I found some software that I really liked, and I kind of modified it a little bit. But it all, it's all used as uh, Python. Uh -huh. And I don't know Python. So it was kind of another crash course. Trial by fire. <laughs> so I finally got through and got that taken care of. Um, it works for the most part. They just updated the software in the last week, mm -hmm. and they. Through bugs, they killed the, multi, the three connects, uh, the, uh, the ability to use multiple connects, but they got high quality scans. So I get better quality scans, but I, I lose you're, the ability. You're to down to connects. one connect. So I can do busts. Oh. So I can do busts cool. to people, or I can get, or I can do a low, and I can get kids down low. So, okay, cool. Well, we'll try the concept this. Concept works in it, you know, and it, hopefully I've been talking to them, and we can get things working out within days. So this company that actually was doing this, were they doing this actually for like a business then? Uh, it's, it's it's for non-commercial reasons as of right now. Oh, There's okay. no the software is just for fun, I guess. Okay. So, and I think I'm a, actually a gentleman in Germany is working using it as part of his thesis. I think that's how he's kind of come up with the design. So, and then we kind of play together. So. But, you guys want to be scanned?